In the race to launch the first marijuana-themed ETF in the U.S., though overshadowed by the Bitcoin battle, has attracted a handful of issuers vying for an edge in this sector. Here now to discuss is who else? Bloomberg Intelligence ETF analyst Eric Baltrunas. Move over, Bitcoin. This one actually has legs. Yeah, I guess so. Or roots, at least. Um, ah, yeah, ha -ha. I like that. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, things you can do with that. But the pot ETF race is no joke. Um, there is now about six ETFs filed, hoping to be the first one out. Let me give you a few numbers here. So Ken Shea, who's my colleague who covers the pot industry at BI, yep. at BI um, he's saying that the sales of cannabis could grow to 25 billion. That's quadruple increase over the next 10 years. It's, it's legal in many more states. Recreational use is going to increase. So we have ready here some of the uh, ETFs filed. The ETFMG Alternative Harvest ETF. A lot of them don't use pot. They use sort of more classy names. We've got the Cambria Marijuana Industry. The uh, Tecrium Emerging Medical Agriculture ETF. Oh, yeah, there we got some there. And then the Marijuana Supply Chain ETF. So uh, you also have pot is up tremendously. I like uh, that, by the way, toke as the ticker. Yeah, that, that's a solid ticker. Uh, tickers with verbs usually do better, so that's a good job <laughs> by uh, Cambria there. But this is going to be probably, it could be up to a billion dollar product. How much overlap is there with existing indexes or ETFs? Because I wonder how many companies are publicly traded that actually are involved in the growing marijuana industry. Right, good question. When you put together a sort of a new budding industry, if you will, uh, any ETF. You're on a roll here. You're going to have to put in more liquid names to offset the fact that some of these are micro caps. But there's one in Canada, the Horizons uh, Marijuana ETF, which uh, has some big companies but some small ones, but it's up. Uh, here's a uh, you look at a chart of the assets. Yeah, let's put it up right now. 8765, yeah. uh, G hashtag BTB 8765. There we go. This is, fa this is why I think this is going to be a big deal in the U.S. Look at the assets in that. There's $300 million. It's up uh, something like 70% this year. If it weren't for Bitcoin, this would be a way bigger story. Mm. But that look at the assets. See how the assets hung in there even when it fell? That is rare. That shows you a high demand, sticky asset. So if you can get $300 million in Canada, I, and that market is uh, probably a tenth the size of the U.S. Yeah. That translates to a billion dollar product. So this is an interesting sort of uh, undercard to the more famous Bitcoin ETF race. How are these smart beta though? Because it's a thematic ETF, yes, but is, how is it smart beta? How, 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 what, what kind of twists are they doing? Sure, I take a liberal view of smart beta. We do, uh, if it's market cap weighted, plain vanilla, that's that. Anything uh -huh. not that is this sort of big circus tent of just everything. Thematic is in there. Some of these are also gonna have equal weighting. They're gonna weight the, the products in a way that uh, is different anyway. So technically they're smart beta, but also connotatively they're smart beta.